Oh, it's uh, KK. So, looks like, so it looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, Daddyo. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know. Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. You're a dog. Being by his lonesome can grind on the soul. You gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world of squares will without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island light for a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best power sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life, and I'll catch you later. Oh my god. Can you can you be in love with KK Slider? <laughs> Nick! Are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Oh, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Wow, I needed that. Oh ho ho, yes, it's quite normal to be one out for such a long trip, and a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? It's a phone. It's a very unlooked phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me, hmm? Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. Say, Nick, have you ever used a smartphone before? Uh, I have one of my own. Very good. Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. I have one more thing for you. It's your itemized bill. So this includes everything, airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone, hmm? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 pounds. Okay. Yes, yes, well then. Wait, you don't have any bells. I can't believe I didn't think of this. Of course. All I need to worry, I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. With a getaway package, you can pay with your pay your fees with miles instead of standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here in Byzantine. I dare say the more you enjoy your own life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move in the in, move in fees and much more. So the bottom line is, you need 49,800 bells to pay your move in fees. But with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes, but there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app and you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Byzantine and a client of Nook Inc. So, uh, he just created a brand new, like, rewards program, which is pretty much like a secondary currency. My li new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! From now on, island time will match the flow of time in real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right corner. You can also save and quick your game after pressing minus. This is Nook Miles. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is. It's a rewards program. 500 straight away. That's pretty good. 
learning how to fish chat with residents bugs map ah oh. okay camera yes <laughs> Oh, what's this? Present for downloading the update? Cool. What's this? What did you give me? Open. Oh, Nintendo Switch? Sick! Let's might as well place it in our tent, even though we've got no power. Hopefully we can get a generator. So we can play our Switch. Uh Oh wait Can I just Come on. Oh my god. And... Oh no. I think that's good. That's good. And we got a simple DIY workbench. Okay, we're meant to talk to residents, so let's talk to Bam. Yo, I'm pumped about that spot you helped me pick out for my tent. Thanks for the push. Hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies, Kablang. All right, I've got something here for you, Kablang. Thanks again for finding a place for my place. Oh, it's a cat. It's perfect for bees and tea. You can try it on by pressing X to open up your pockets. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Will it fit on my hair? N -n -n do <laughs> Okay, so it says it's on real time. Is it actually? Okay, it's up my time. It's up. It's on my like time zone, which is good, and not daylight savings. Wow, my heart's really racing. I hope the fish can't hear it. So now that I've done that. I've talked to those two. I can get this one. Cool. At least it's giving you like something to like do. Like the rewards program is a pretty good idea for the uh, game. Not to say you can't do anything in the other games. I've only played Wild World, so I don't know, but I'm sure that like there was plenty to do anyway. But the, the it's better for me if there's like, if there's like, <laughs> If I have an immediate, like, reward for doing something, or if I can work to something because there's a reward there, I find it very satisfying and I prefer that quite a lot. Oh, Nick! It's great to see you! That campfire was a lot of fun! We're keeping resident services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Okay, what's in here? Ah, Nick, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it is quite cozy in here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always mean comfortable, hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island, or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. If you want to add some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about anything. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it, hmm? 
Ah, uh, welcome, welcome. You don't waste any time, do you, Oho? We're still setting up for... But for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll try to have some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to take a look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. I'll take a look. Great. No! Oh. I'd like a barbecue, that'd be cool. Ooh. Getting a fishing rod and a net and watering can and a slingshot is probably like the best thing. I feel like those are probably very helpful. What? Okay. Let's just leave. Alright, what is this? Oh, how silly me to forget. I need to give you a brief introduction to that box there. That is a recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes, so if you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking out what you want. Take the cloudboard box, I guess. What's this? I should give you a brief introduction to that terminal as well. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, Nick. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on the island. The second, this terminal service is an automatic bell dispenser, or ABD, for the Bank of Nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Um. Oh, there's a... There's a daily check-in service? Okay, so we got 50 miles. That's cool. I do feel like I'll be playing this, playing this, I'll be playing this every day. I should probably check those out, actually. Ah. Okay. What about ABD? Can I do anything with that? Okay, so I can only do bell stuff right now. And probably as like real days pass, more things unlock. Ah, I see you've discovered my DIY workbench. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it'll be quite useful for your island life, hmm? So shall I put you down for the next available session? I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Uh, just tell me what, what, what it does. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit, hmm? When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you find- Oh, anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe requires me five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected the materials, hmm? Okay, so we've got our first goal, and it is to build a fishing rod. Let's call it... Happy... No, keep writing. <laughs> Happy... We'll call it- we'll call today Byzantine Day, shall we? There we go. Wait, can I like- can I like color it? <laughs> yeah, let's just <laughs> What's going on? Did I finish something? Island shutter bug. Oh <clears throat> because I took a photo, cool. And anything else? Bulletin board benefit. Yeah, nice. Rumor mongering influenza. That's me.
Uh, look at the beach. Why is this game so pretty? Doesn't have any right being this pretty. <laughs> Alright, so we've already got two sticks, so we need five. Got what the button was for a moment. There we go. Nick, found the necessary materials, huh? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. So I just select and craft? Let's do it. Easy. I made a flimsy fishing rod. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. Hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge, naturally. I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Oh, we're gonna like airdrop the recipes? We are. <laughs> Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. The flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I'm no master angler, and perhaps I can give you a few tips. Hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see anything you might manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Okay. What recipes do we have? So we need to, we can do a campfire or a flimsy net. So a flimsy net is five branches. So that's probably our first and a next, a next step as well as fishing. Okay, let me get it out. Hold. Get tree branches while we look, for, there we go. Yes! I caught a Christian carp! My skills are sharp! Not again! <laughs> oh, okay, I picked up weeds. Damn it. How am I gonna... Come on! Ow! Oh no. Fishing in this game is gonna be difficult to get used to as well. Swim up. Come on! You see it! You see it! Oh, that's a big one. Yes, I caught a salmon. It's all upstream from here. Nice. Oh my God. Maybe don't touch that. Yes, caught a puffer fish. I thought you would be tougher fish. Grinch. <laughs> okay, so with this island that I've chose, I pretty much like blocked myself off from any of the other island until I can learn how to build like bridges or something, but that's okay. It gives us something to like really work towards. There we go. No, I did a fishing rod because I'm an idiot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I should sell everything. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done! I can buy these from you for a total of 4,710 bells. Sold. 
Nice. Oh. I completed something. What was it? Sell of unwanted stuff. Oh, nice. Uh, yes, I caught a tilapia. It makes me happier. Sigh. <laughs> What's over here? Let's have an ex let's do exploring. Dodo Airlines. Hmm? Hang on a sec, how'd you get in here? Could've swore I locked the front door. Eh, it doesn't matter, we're still getting set up in here, so there's no flights today. Sorry about that, should be open for flights tomorrow though, so be sure to come back then. I'm glad that, like, they've limited, like, some of the features until tomorrow, like, literally tomorrow. Uh... I don't know, I'm not, like, I, when I was playing, like, what, what game was it? When I was playing World War, they're talking about how I don't like time restrictions in games, but time schedules I'm fine with. Restrictions, um, can get a bit annoying, but in this, the way that, like, content has been, like, a little bit restricted to, like, make sure that you have, like, breaks and stuff, and you come back, like, at certain times, I, I do prefer that. But well, looks like we're, grind we're grinding uh, fishing until we can find some sticks. Uh, what's the sale? Wait, where do I... There it is. Buy it. Uh, probably the slingshot and the watering can. Another reward. <laughs> Jeez, this uh, rewards program is extensive. What did we do? Nice. Okay, so now that we've got the bug net. Wait, wasn't there like a present flying around? Can I just slingshot that? Oh no. Yes! I caught a common butterfly. They often flutter by. My gosh, there's so much. I get rid of the weeds as well, and the apples. Let's just sell everything. <laughs> oh, 5,000 sold! I wanted to tell you something about the fruit you just sold me. When you eat food like fruit, you'll find yourself energizing more power than you might have imagined. Does anyone share that with you? What I mean is, you could break open rocks or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. Oh, so it's like a power-up. Now it's fine for you to sell me your fruit. You should try eating it once in a while, too. Okay, I'm gonna learn this DIY workbench thing. Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for a simple DIY workshop. Workbench. Does that mean I could, like, build a workbench on my tent? So much- so many things that I can, like, currently work towards. I'm enjoying that. Okay, but let's go back to our 10. We are gonna leave it there because I feel like I've uh, seen as much as I uh, 
can see right now, uh, there's probably more I can see, but like, apart from just me just running around for ages and like just fishing and catching butterflies, uh, that means it's just gonna be more for me to edit and stuff, <laughs> just that. But I feel like I've seen, like, I've gotten the hole that I want to right now. Um, there's gonna be more videos of this, I think. We're gonna, there's gonna be more of it. Uh, I'll do some stuff at night time. I'll get more videos up as the, the island develops. Uh, but there'll be a lot of times where we're just playing this offline and I won't even play this on stream, which you can follow at twitch.tv dot slash Nicholas um, which you can get that link below the video. But, uh, this is absolutely wonderful. It's exactly what I've been wanting to play and, uh, exactly what I've been needing and what, it's just what I've been waiting for. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, uh, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.